Tensions were high tonight at the last public meeting to review an environmental review of a proposed Enbridge Energy oil pipeline. As Mel Meyer reports from Bemidji, activists from all over the state came in and at one point by busload to have their voices heard. The group Jobs for Minnesotans kicked off the afternoon with a gathering of community members to express their support of the pipeline. We would like to call on the Minnesota Public Utilities Commission to approve this project. They argue that while they also support renewable energy, there will still be a demand for oil. Physics prove that it cannot replace that huge energy demand that our society has. And Enbridge would like to have some of these workers to help them replace the more than 50 year old line. I think it's just important to say it was time. It's time to do this. It's time to move forward. According to the draft environmental impact statement, Enbridge's preferred route would need a maximum of 4,200 workers within an eight month period. But this would not affect county level unemployment or median household income levels. I think there's a huge number of liability issues here for the state of Minnesota. Some activists are concerned that the impact of jobs would not outweigh the potential catastrophic effects of an oil spill. We oppose a new energy corridor in the Lake Country because of the long term risks and they're ready to fight back if something does happen. The water protectors that are throughout northern Minnesota and throughout this country are looking at what is happening here. The Department of Commerce is trying to weigh the many benefits and risks through the environmental impact statement. The comments presented through the 22 meetings will help them clarify or edit any sections. The line should be twice as tall, exactly twice as tall. We'll get it there. Any comments submitted to the Department of Commerce by July 10th will be considered for the final draft. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Once the final draft is completed, Minnesota Public Utilities Commission will decide if the project is in the state's best interest. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.